I love Disney lounge fly. I love Disney pin bags. I love this pin bag. How about you? <laughs> Hi friends! Welcome back to our channel if you've seen our videos before. And if you are new, my name is Hope. And today I have a special bag review for you guys. I've never done one of these videos before, but since this product is brand new, I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys and give you my thoughts and opinions on how this bag works. The bag that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is the brand new Disney Loungefly pin bag. So if you've not heard about this, I would be surprised um, because this has been all over Instagram and it's been like the hype on Disney pins blog. Um, and this is the brand new Disney lounge fly pin bag. So I purchased this bag last week. It was just released by the time you're seeing this about a week ago. Um, and I actually purchased it the day before it was technically released. It was released at Box Lunch. I believe it was on Box Lunch's website as well. Um, I got mine in store at the store's location. Um, and I actually got it, like I said, the day before it was officially released. And so um, she hadn't even put them out on the display yet, but I went in and asked if they had them and she pulled it out of the back brand new for me, so I was so excited for that. Um, when I saw that this was coming out, I knew I had to grab it. Um, it's my style, it's my aesthetic with the classic black and red Mickey, um, and I had actually been looking into getting an Eda bag about two or three weeks before this guy came out. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. Um, and I do have a Mickey Loungefly backpack that I love um, already, and so when this came out, I knew, I knew it was meant to be. They are marketing it as a pin bag. Um, it's $49.90, so $50 for this bag. It is that classic um, Loungefly faux leather that we are used to from Loungefly. Um, and this one is a backpack slash crossbody, so it's convertible to be either. So it comes with no pins in it. Um, actually, I take that back. It does come with a pin in it. It doesn't come with all these though. I put these in myself. Um, it does come with one pin, however, and it's this little Mickey Mouse with these gigantic shoes on. Um, to be honest, I don't know what to think about this pin. It's a little odd. Uh, it's kind of like a soft enamel, so it doesn't really look super high quality, and it just says See Disney Made in China on the back. So I definitely don't know that this uh, pin is a reason to buy the bag, but it's a nice perk for $50.00 you got a free pin, so there you go. I took this bag to the Disney pin trading night uh, last week, and so I have taken it for a test drive already, so that's why I felt like I could do this review, because I have carried it, so I'm gonna give you my thoughts on how well it worked. Also, if you purchased this bag at the time of this video going up, um, Box Lunch is having a 20% off sale on their site, so you can actually get this bag for $39.92 instead of $49.90. So there's that. Um, so let's get into the details of the bag. So this bag is eight inches in diameter. It is a circular bag. Um, the ears don't count in that eight inches, but the length and width of the actual bag is eight inches by three inches thick. It's made of a polyurethane material, which is like the faux leather that we are used to from Loungefly. And it does have a separate pocket to access your pins from the main compartment, which I do really like. So let me give you a close up of the bag. So first of all, you will see the overall shape of the bag with the Mickey ears. I think it's just so cute. Um, it definitely has that classic Mickey vibe. It also has a um, hanger for the bag right up here, which I love. Turning the bag around, you'll see where the clasps are to attach the handles. There's also a Disney Loungefly nameplate right on the back, which I think is really nice. It's a nice touch to the bag. So this is where the bag is adjustable. So you will see there are four rings on the top and sides of the bag, and those are in a gold tone hardware. 
And then these are the adjustable and removable straps. So the black um, faux leather of the bag, I think is a really nice contrast to the red faux leather of the straps. So the bag does come with two red faux leather straps that as you can see here, I have put on backpack style. And this is how I carried it to the pin event. So these are adjustable and let me see if I can take them off while on the camera. They were pretty easy to adjust um, once you kind of get the hang of it. So you can take the one off and then we're gonna convert it into a crossbody. So I'm going to take this strap and move it over to the loop over here. I'm trying to do this one handed while on camera so bear with me. So I just moved it across like that and then I'm going to take this one off and move it to the loop at the top here. <clears throat> just like that and then you can adjust this strap to be your crossbody. So as you can see, I just transformed it from a backpack into the crossbody by just using those top hooks. And then this can go over your head and across your body. Obviously this is not <laughs> the length I would wear it at, but you can kind of get the idea of how it goes across your body. Okay, so on to the interior of the bag. So as you can see, there is a plastic clear window here on the front. Um, you can see our umbrella lights. <laughs> um, but this is where you can display your pins. So there are two zippers on this bag. This one goes down around the bottom. So you just unzip it like this. And then that is how you can access the pin window. So I don't know if you can see here, but on the inside of the bag, there is this perforated faux leather sheet, and this is where you stick your pins into. So it's just got these pre-perforated holes, which I really like because it doesn't make extra holes in the bag to move your pins around. Um, so it's always going to look this nice, um, even when you're moving your pins around and changing the pins that are in the bag. So you just load them in just like that, and then you can zip this up on the bottom to keep your pins really nice and secure in the bag. So then on the other side, you have your classic lounge fly um, zipper pull. This is in gold tone, and this is where you access into the bag itself. So as you can see, I'm gonna show you the front here first. And you can see here that the pin backs are just kind of open in the bag. This is the first negative that I noticed about the bag is that there isn't another sheet that goes in and kind of protects the items in your bag from the pin backs. Um, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but you can see the pins just load and then stick into the back here. Um, I ended up switching to these gold butterfly clasps to put my pins in because I found that the Mickey head backs just kind of fall out and are a little bit of a pain. So I switched to these and then because I didn't want anything in my bag to get scratched, I actually left the foam circle that came in the bag um, in here to just stick it against that wall to protect my items from the pin backs. Eventually, at some point, I think I will create a black circle that can go in place of this foam. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to make it out of foam core, like black foam core. Just cut the circle to fit the bag and then use that as a backer just to protect my items from the pin backs so they don't get all scratched. Um, but that was really one of the first negatives that I noticed about the bag. As for the rest of the bag, it's pretty basic. It's just one big hole, no pockets. Um, I left a chapstick in there, <laughs> but it's just one big pocket and you can put all of your items in it. Um, the zipper does work really, really nice. Um, very smooth as you would expect from a lounge fly bag. So that is pretty much the um, details and specs of the bag. Um, now, as far as it worked for me, I carried it uh, backpack style to the pin event. And I think that that's probably the way I will wear it most of the time, mainly because I just prefer backpacks um, for park days and things. 
Um, and one of my concerns with carrying it crossbody is that you'll see, I don't know if you can see, but carrying it this way, you notice that the bag is kind of tipping um, forward just because of the way that it is carried. So I would be concerned with my pins on the inside that they would get kind of um, bounced around and I don't know, I think that's just kind of a weird way to hang on your hip. So I don't know how it would be to carry it that way. I will be trying it just to see, um, so I can give you guys an accurate rev review of how to carry it that way. Um, but yeah, that is another option if you wanna carry it crossbody. I did, however, carry it, like I said, to the pin event uh, backpack style, and I really liked it. It seemed very comfortable. Um, the one negative that I have about these straps, um, they're pretty comfortable to wear, actually. They're that same polyurethane material, um, and they are really adjustable, so I could make it fit me the way that I wanted it to, which is nice. But the thing that I didn't like was that um, this, as you can see, because it's that stiff material, it was kind of hard to wear it without these two pieces kind of separating. Um, and so I oftentimes, it would kind of look like this on my shoulders. It was kind of like baggy and loose. Um, it didn't quite like fit down the way that I wanted it to. One thing I would have liked is to have like a little band that goes around here um, that is the same material as the rest of the strap just to kind of keep the strap a little bit more taut and looking a little bit nicer but again I'm just nitpicking so what does it really matter so yeah guys I think that was the review of this bag I did really enjoy carrying it I thought that it holds a good deal um, for what it is I definitely think that it's not ideal if you're one of those all day Disney park kind of people and you like to be prepared and carry everything that you could possibly need. This is definitely not going to be for you. Um, but it did work for me for the pin event because I was just carrying like my wallet, um, some chapstick, I had my camera and grip, and then extra batteries, extra SD cards, things like that. Um, and this worked really well for that. So I really liked it. Um, I love the little ears popping out the top. Um, like I said, it does remind me a lot of my Mickey Mouse Loungefly backpack, which I love and carry all the time. So I definitely think this will be another bag staple for me. So I think that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found the bag review helpful, please give it a thumbs up as well. And let me know in a comment if you are going to purchase the bag. Um, I would be really curious to know if we're going to be hashtag bag twins. <laughs> and if you would like to see more Disney magic, then be hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you don't miss any future magic from us. And I'll see you next time. Bye!